on the behalf of entrepreneurship incubation cell presents to you startup lingo workshop we will have a quiz at the end of the session so please remain till the end talking about startups isn't cool you know what's cool building a startup so we will share a short story of a journey of startup to an ipo with the discussion of some of the important terms important terms in this story we will take two names from the panel do we have prajwal sir with us yes sir if you mind can i take your name for the yeah yeah sure yeah yeah sure thank you sir so it all started with a vision Incubators or accelerators. So you are thinking, what is an incubator or accelerator? It is basically a center where startups are incubated through mentorship, space, and sometimes money. The main difference between incubator and startup is that incubator is a little bit slow process, and acceleration accelerators do them as fast as possible. For example, you got an idea in the COVID times. and you know you it can done only in the covid so what you will do you will go to accelerator rather than the incubator yeah so moving forward esc has its own incubator let's show let's see your glimpse of it hello everyone this is esc rishif sir and prajwal sir got funding for the start they issue shares of the company now at initial stage they issue around 1 lakh shares for the company now as they are the founders it's their right to choose how how much they will get so they decided 40% each one will them will get and 20% for friends or families now i showed interest in their startup just as you i invested 50000 dollars for 20% stakes in their company this is known as investment and at such an early stage this is called seed investment 
So what is a seed investment? Seed investment is basically the investment done at the starting of the starting of the journey required to incorporate the expenses of the company. And this will be done through an agreement or basically a term sheet. This is a legal document which is done between the investor and the founders. As we know, the company belongs to, uh, the money belongs to the company. Now, if the company fails in the near future, which statistically speaking is the most likely scenario. Yes, do you know what is the survival rate of startup in India? Does anyone of you know? 0.01%. So there's a little activity for all of you. You have to search through the internet and I'll ask you the same question at the end of the session. And I had read in, in the internet, the survival rate of startup in India in the year 2019 is around 10%. Well, that's a huge number. Around 90% startup failed in the year 2019. So this agreement sheet will be signed between the start founder and the investor. Now, I paid $50,000 for 20% stakes in the company, which makes the evaluation for the company equals to $250,000. As Presbyterian and Initiative, sir, are, have 40% stakes. So they got a share of $1. Wow, that's a huge one. And congratulations, they incorporated the company and finished their first seed round of investment. One year has passed and they have successfully completed with the beta trial. Does any, anyone of you know what is beta trial? The unfinished yeah. version of any app or anything. Yeah, it is a process in which a company releases the product to a limited number of customers to understand how they perceive it. Like, for example, many companies like the video game companies first release the beta trial to check if there are any bugs in the, in the game and in the version or not. So that's what a beta trial is. Now, they completed with the beta trial and the one year has passed. It's time to hire more people or rent a place. Now, the 50,000 seed capital only got, the th got them so far. It's time to collect the big round of cash. Now, they are looking for an investment of $1 million. Well, that's a huge number from where they will get such a huge money. This is done so-called through a process of series of rounds. So what is a series A round? Series A round is one of the stages in the capital raising process by a startup. Essentially, series, round, series A round is the second stage of startup financing and the first stage of venture capital funding. What is a venture capital funding? Does anyone of you know? Uh, guys, does anyone of you know? Hello? Hello? Uh, we will further discuss. Uh, you can write it in the chat section or we will further discuss later on. Just a minute. So, now to get such a huge funding, they will contact angel investors and venture capitalists. What are the angel investors and venture capitalists? So, angel investors are basically the individuals who professionally invest their own money in young companies like yours after they successfully sold their own startup many years ago and now looking to support early ventures. And one, what are venture capitalists or VC firms? These are basically the people who work for venture capital firms which take other people's money and invest in young risky startups such as yours. Now, Prajwal Sarah Vishesh sir contacted few VC firms or angel investors. Some of them they found online. Some they got in touch through their friends or colleagues. They send them mails. They send them their business plan. Usually, these angel investors and VC firms don't much care for the business plan. What they see is the team, the idea. Is it special? 
what they already achieved is it promising and what you could achieve what they can achieve they can dream big yes they might do some meetings talk about the business plan the vision in uh, investors ask tough questions have you heard of the startup which does the similar thing how you are different you spark some interest now after the discussion they might invest in your startup so to further continue ritu will take over from here ritu thank you tanish let's continue further i will be starting with some basic definitions of the commonly used terms in the world of startup such as poc mpg pivot uh, pitch deck churn rate roi etc we'll be discussing them one by one starting with poc uh, poc stands for proof of concept as mentioned it is meant to determine the feasibility of the idea or to verify that the idea will function as envisioned in simple terms that kind of tells you ki aapka idea chalega ya nahi chalega like i hope you guys understood what poc is you can write down yes or no in the chat box okay 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 moving further the next point we have is pivot a pivot is basically a shift in business strategy which is applied for testing out new approach after receiving some feedback from the users we'll be taking the example of youtube to understand this term uh, how many of you actually know that youtube didn't start as a video sharing platform me ma'am Okay, can you just tell me what it started as? Ma'am, it was started as uh, like so that they could share their own videos and uh, those things among themselves. Yeah, yeah it was started first in a small like... area of California. Yeah, yeah. All right. हाँ, इसका founder वो एक dating video देखने का लिए ऐसे चालू किया था मतलब एक dance का video देखने का लिए था. Mohammed Zewail. Thank you for the responses. Um, YouTube. It needs no introduction as a brand. It's the ruler of the video sharing platform market. However, we know that it did not start as your homely video sharing platform. It was a dating website which enabled singles to upload their videos, sharing who they were and what they were looking for in a partner. but the founders soon pivoted and allowed people to upload videos of all kinds something that makes youtube what it is today the remarkable success of youtube shows us the importance of pivot i hope you understood the example right yes pivot kya hota hai like changing the market strategy taki aapka brand matlab chale theek hai the next term we have is churn rate Okay, just a hint. It's an important question for the quiz, which will we'll be having at the end of the session. So, this ko thoda the answers will be na. Churn refers to the number of customers or subscribers who stop you uh, stop using your service during a given time period. And when we talk about churn users, we're talking about customers who are no longer active. Or uh, just as the picture shows. Considering the cuboidal aquarium as your startup, and the जो भी मछलियाँ फिर आपके हाथ से निकल गई, whether they search for some other alternative or stop using that service, they are the churned users. To calculate the churn rate, the given formula can be used. That is number of customers lost divided by the total number of customers into hundred. Uh, I think it's clear, right? Any doubts with churn rate? Okay, moving on. The next term we have is pitch deck. Pitch deck is basically a set of slides a startup company sends to potential investors. The investor then assesses the startup by pitch deck and makes further decisions. We'll also be having a complete session dedicated to pitch deck, pitch deck in the upcoming days, so you'll be able to understand it better. Uh, moving on, the next term is MVP, a minimum viable product. 
it's a version of a product with just enough features to be usable by early customers who can then provide feedback for future product development. Kind of, it's like thinking big, but delivering in small, functionally viable increments. Hope that's clear. Uh, okay, the next term we have is ESOP. ESOP or the Employee Stock Ownership Plan. Under this plan, employers offer their employees the stock of the company at a low or no additional cost that they can encash after a specific period at a specific price. In India, ESOPs were offered by Flipkart, Mintra, and other companies when they were starting up. Okay, why do you think any company would offer ESOPs? Any ideas? Ma'am, rather than providing the salary to the employees uh, or providing extra in investment into them, well, the shares can be given so that uh, it can lead to the sum of the savings of the company, which the funds can be used in other domains. Okay, yeah, it could be used uh, in the starting of the company. जब आपके पास फंड्स कम होंगे ताकि तुम्हें लो सैलरी देनी पड़े इट कैन बी देयर आल्सो अदर रीजंस ऑफ बिलोंगिंग हो जाए उन लोगों को भी कंपनी से और मैम उनको थोड़ा मतलब ये पिक कर जाता है ना जब हार्ड वर्क करेंगे तो स्टॉक का प्राइस बढ़ेगा और वो इनडायरेक्टली उनकी ग्रोथ रहेगी और एम्प्लॉय भी स्टिक करेगा इसमें कंपनी में हां सही बोल रहे हो Like these are some of the very good points. Employer retention, the employer's the company ke saath stick karega. Better productivity of the people working in the company, and it can also be used as a tool for attracting talent. Right? Okay. Moving on to the next term, we have ROI. That is return on investment. As the name suggests, ROI helps you understand. Uh, Tanish, can we move? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Uh, as the name suggests ROI ROI helps you understand how much profit or loss your investment has earned return on investment is a simple ratio that divides the net profit or loss from an investment by its cost yeah next okay like just a check uh, what's your current feeling after the explanation of all the terms one or two like You got all the terms. Yeah, which means I'm aja. I'm aja gaya. Ma'am, it's one point five actually. It's in between. One point five. Okay. Anything you have a doubt with any term, you want me to repeat? Ma'am, the churning, churning part. Ah, uh, I didn't get it actually. Okay, churn rate. Yar, ye hota hai ki kitne customers ne aapki company ki service lena band kar diya. Theek hai. जिससे की लाइक मतलब जो कंपनी अपने इन्वेस्टर्स वगैरह को भेजती है जिनसे उन्होंने इन्वेस्टमेंट लेनी होती है और वो उसको देख के डिसाइड करते हैं पहले ठीक है की उन्होंने उनके साथ मीट करना है उनको इन्वेस्टमेंट देनी है जस्ट अर्ली स्टेज डॉक्यूमेंट होता है वैसे समझ आया डू आई नीड टू एक्सप्लेन मोर सॉरी डॉक्यूमेंट इट्स प्रेजेंटेशन काइंड ऑफ कंपनी अपना मतलब लाइक या लाइक पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन बना के जैसे तुम डायरेक्टली किसी को दिखा रहे हो बट यूजुअली इन द केस ऑफ पिच डेक प्रेजेंटेशन फॉर गेटिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट या राइट एंड गाइस वी आर आल्सो प्लानिंग वन सेपरेट वर्कशॉप ऑन इट ऑन व्हिच यू यू विल गेट द नॉलेज लाइक हाउ टू मेक अ पिच डेक एंड ऑल दैट सो ऑलराइट लाइक इज एवरीवन On two now, मतलब आ गया सबको समझ understood it all. Can we move further? Yeah, ma'am. Sorry. Then we will have a doubt session at the end, so we can continue. Ah, okay. Let's move further. Like, 
I'll clarify them again, okay? Okay, moving on, getting back on to the startup journey that Tanish was telling us, we'll be discussing valuation. There are two types of valuations, pre-money valuation and post-money valuation. Pre-money valuation of a startup is how much you currently value your company before your investor has invested into it. Uh, Tanish, can we move forward? Skip this slide. Yeah. Post-money valuation. It's a way of expressing the value of a company after an investment has been made. This value is equal to the sum of the pre-money valuation and the amount of new investment made. Um, Post-money valuation can be used to calculate the investor's share in the company. Investor's share would be equal to the investment made by them divided by post-money valuation of the company. Taking an example, an investor invests $1 million in a company having a post-money valuation of $8 million. So in this case, the investor's share in the company would be Clearly, it's like 12.5 percent. Samajari, you see, it's like there is no huge formula. Just dividing them both, one by eight is equal to 12.5. That will give you a ratio of 12.5 percent, right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to take uh, investor shares? Samaj nahi aaya, ma'am, kuch. Investor share nahi samaj aaya hoga, right? Yes. ठीक है तो इन्वेस्टर शेयर क्या होएगा यार जिस बंदे ने जितने पैसे डाल ले हैं मैंने एक मिलियन डाला है ठीक है पर कंपनी और कंपनी की पोस्ट मनी वैल्यूएशन क्या है एट मिलियन की है तो वन मिलियन अपॉन एट मिलियन उसका परसेंटेज निकाल लोगे तो मेरा शेयर कंपनी में हो गया ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट अब समझ आया मूविंग फॉरवर्ड As new investors come on board, you will be diluted. Dilution here stands for decrease in percentage of company owned by you. Talking about the shares, the company can create shares just like central bank can print money. The total number of shares of a company changes time to time. Anish, uh, can we move forward? Yeah, next one. Next to this, oh yeah, the whole process of company issuing new shares to receive cash is known as capital raise. If things go well, the Series A won't be the last capital raise of your startup. There will be Series B, Series C, Series D, and so on. For each investment round, the company valuation will hopefully increase. All right, guys, that's my part. Uh, I'd like to hand over to Abhi to continue with the further explanation. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's thanks, Ritu. Thank you. Thanks, Ritu. Hello, guys. So, coming to the happy ending or the exit part of Rishav and Prajwal's story. Next slide. Uh, so now, as we all see, all the rounds of funding has been successfully completed, and Rishav and Prajwal has made a lot of money and name. So, what's next? हम्म अच्छा आगे क्या हुआ फिर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो हियर कम द एग्जिट स्ट्रेटेजी सो व्हाट इज एग्जिट स्ट्रेटेजी एग्जिट स्ट्रेटेजी इज बेसिकली अ स्ट्रेटेजी ऑन हाउ रिशव एंड प्रज्वल आर गोनस सेल द कंपनी एंड मेक देयर इन्वेस्टर्स सम फाइनेंशियल गेन थ्रू द सीन इट इंक्लूड्स ऑल द डिसीजंस लाइक हु इज गोइंग टू बाय एंड व्हाई एंड व्हिच एंडेड व्हिच अमाउंट नेक्स्ट so before moving forward to the climax of the story let's learn some terms first which will help you to understand the story further first acquisition startup acquisition is a process wherein big companies buy a small company or startup has and has gain control over it by purchasing most or all of that company share or assets like here we can see google microsoft tesla uh, or apple uh, they are going to buy the share of the big company और वी कैन से पैसा ही पैसा होगा नेक्स्ट एक्वी हायर सो एक्वी हायर इज ए स्ट्रेटेजी यूज टू एक्वायर टैलेंट वेन वन कंपनी बाइस आउट एन अदर कंपनी प्राइमरीली फॉर द स्किल्स एंड एक्सपर्टीज ऑफ द स्टाफ हियर वी कैन सी दैट द गाय इन येल्लो 
uh, is very happy because his company is actually hired by Google because Google was impressed by the skills and expertise of the staff. And he, along with his co-founders, will be working in the Google, which may be a dream of many of you listening to me today. Next. Merger. Next, uh, Rishav and Prajwal may do a merger with another company and then the both company work as a single company. Next. Next come the IPO part. So first of all, I would like to ask uh, how many of you have subscribed to an IPO before? Sir, you don't ask anything. You got the PTM. Why not? You didn't get the PTM in 15. You didn't get the PTM in 15. चार अकाउंट से किया था सर। हाँ ये सेम स्टोरी। और कोई? यू नो मेरे फ्रेंड को पेटीएम मिल गया था। सर आईपीओ का मीनिंग भी बता दो। ठीक है। या या या। तो कमिंग टू दी डेफिनेशन, आईपीओ और दी इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफरिंग और स्टॉक लॉन्च इस ए पब्लिक ऑफरिंग इन विच शेयर ऑफ ए कंपनी आर सोल्ड टू इन्वेस्ट टू इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर एंड यूजुअली आल्सो रिटेल इन्वेस्टर मतलब बेसिकली आईपीओ मींस गोइंग पब्लिक अब गोइंग टू द मीम या जो स्लाइड पे कंटेंट है तो इट्स लाइक पच्चीस दिन में पैसा डबल भी हो सकता है आधा भी हो सकता है लाइक किस्मत पर है कि लेट एंड व्यू मिल रहा है या पेटीएम मिल रहा है नेक्स्ट स्लाइड so uh, as discussed previously uh, ipo just means going public so that uh, normal people can invest in your startup next slide now rishabh and prajwal may also think of uh, not selling the startup and they want to make it bigger and unicorn so in the same way that not every startup need to raise money from vcs and business angels not uh, not uh, not every startup need to sell itself to a bigger company to provide a return to founders employees and investors companies that are able to establish a solid business model and scale might choose to stay independent and reinvest the profit in the company part of those profit can also be distributed among investor as a dividend next so guys this story has been finally ended with a happy ending now let's talk about the behind the scene part so uh, every startup founder faces a lot of challenges during their startup journey. The only difference between a successful startup like Rishav and Prajwal's and a failed one is that successful startup overcome the challenges in their path and convert their dream into reality. While some just lose their hope and then after some time, they see someone else, were, else completing their dream. Next. So uh, coming to some of the challenges faced by Prajwal and Rishav. So funding. Here we can see that uh, like Prajwal and Rishav uh, have went to the VC and the VC was like, we love your venture idea, but we would like to meet again after six months on this. And Prajwal and Rishav were like, why did you do this to me? Next. Next technological barrier. So guys, uh, this slide uh, may not be uh, to uh, most of you here because uh, most of you are here from engineering background, but in many cases, Startup founder faces technological barrier. Like they have an idea, but they don't know how to how they're gonna make the website or the application of their idea. Next. Lack of family support or abba nahi manenge type. E government job hai ya nine to five job hai. Startup is very risky. Next. Fear of failure. So guys, listen carefully. Fear kills more dreams than failure than failure ever kill ever will. Fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. So lala risk hai to risk hai. Next. Uh, now we have seen Rishav and Prajwal have just started with a small idea and have worked on it, overcome all the challenges they have faced and become a successful entrepreneur. In short, achha kaasa naam aur paisa kamal liya hai dono ne. Life set ho gayi hai bilkul hi. Dekh sakte ho tum photo mein. Now, uh, concluding today's session with a basic equation of startup. So, startup is a function of new business, innovation, technology, and patient. Next, Anish. Now, we can see here startup is a multiplication of uh, uh, startup is a multiplication of new business, innovation, technology, and patient. 
Now I have a question for you guys. Why is there only multiplication sign? Why not addition or any other uh, sign? Sir, each Any of, of them, them is zero. It will not work. Each of the component multiplies the growth of the startup. So each of them actually act as a factor, and when multiplied together, they lead to the uh, successful. Yeah, bigger startup. one makes them bigger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are correct. So the answer is for a successful startup, you have to balance all these four terms. For example, you have a uh, you have an A class idea, but you and your co-founder don't have that much of patience to convert it into reality. Then it's all zero. Zero multiplied by anything is just zero. Nothing else. So that's all. next slide uh, thank you guys for today thank you for listening us so if you guys want to start your own startup journey and have an exciting uh, existing idea then uh, you can contact our sakhi prajwal sir or join sakhi rishav sir to discuss more uh, more about the idea now we are open for your questions and feedback questions and feedbacks ha ji chiran ji ek question hai अगर मैंने कोई स्टार्टअप शुरू किया और उसमें मैंने फंडिंग रेज की है तो अगर सपोज मैंने अपनी प्री इवेल्युएशन करवाई और मैंने फंडिंग रेज की तो ऑटोमेटिकली इसके शेयर मेरे कंपनी में उसको मिल जाएंगे कि मेरे को वो भी नेगोशिएट कर सकता हूँ Yeah, like I discussed earlier, like I issued around one lakh shares at the beginning. Like, just say for example, you are my company man invest kar rahe ho. I will issue new shares. Like, for example, you want twenty percent stakes. I will issue twenty percent more shares. Like, one lakh to twenty thousand shares. I I will issue more. ऐसे होता है. Like shares issue होते रहते हैं. Sir, फिर percentage of company. वो कैसे डिवाइड होगी वो कैसे डिवाइड होगी परसेंटेज फिर आपको अपना स्टेक देना पड़ता है लाइक आपका फोर्टी परसेंट स्टेक था फॉर एग्जांपल। तो लाइक अब आपको मनी चाहिए तो आपको अपना स्टेक देना पड़ता है उनको वो चीज होती है और सर जो ई सॉफ्ट होते हैं उसका भी यही yes. होता है अगर मैं अपनी कंपनी के लिए एम्प्लॉय हायर करूंगा तो मेरे को अपने स्टेक देने पड़ेंगे हाँ वो डायल्यूशन होता रहता है बाकी पॉलिसी भी रहती है कि जैसे अगर जब पॉलिसी बनती है जब इन्वेस्टर अगर कह देता है कि अगर मेरा ट्वेंटी परसेंट है तो वो उतना ही रहेगा बाकी जो दूसरे जो है वो पॉलिसी के टाइम पे अगर ऐसा कुछ नहीं बनाते हैं तो उनका डायल्यूट होता रहता है तो ये भी एक इम्पोर्टेंट चीज रहती है कि जब भी स्टार्टअप की पॉलिसी तुम लोग बनाते हो या कोई इन्वेस्टर इन्वेस्ट करते टाइम बनाता है तो ये देखना चाहिए बहुत सारी चीजें रहती है किसी के चैट में भी डाउट्स है अरे यूट्यूब पे भी देख ले तो वैल्यूएशन नहीं कोई गवर्नमेंट रेगुलेटेड एजेंसी नहीं है आकाश कोई गवर्नमेंट रेगुलेटेड एजेंसी नहीं है खुद ही लाइक फंडिंग के हिसाब से आपकी वैल्यूएशन डिसाइड होती है आपको कितनी फंडिंग मिली लाइक आई डिस्कस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर इन्वेस्ट किया ट्वेंटी परसेंट तो हंड्रेड परसेंट हो गया हमारा टू लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर ऐसी फंडिंग होती है सर ये वैल्यूएशन कैलकुलेट कैसे करते हैं मतलब मैंने ऐसा भी सुना है कि एक करोड़ का कंपनी है तो उसका वैल्यूएशन उससे ज्यादा होता है मतलब ये कैसे uh, कैसे लाइक कैन यू एक्सप्लेन लाइक वैल्यूएशन मतलब कैलकुलेट कैसे करते हैं हाउ टू कैलकुलेट वैल्यूएशन ये मैं वही बता रहा हूं लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल आई इन्वेस्टेड 1 लाख रुपीस इन योर स्टार्टअप फॉर 20% स्टेक्स बीस परसेंट एक लाख हुआ ना तो लाइक इन टू फाइव कर दो हंड्रेड परसेंट हो गया तो फाइव लाख हो गया वो कंपनी की वैल्यूएशन ऐसे होती है लाइक जितना मनी आता है कंपनी में उस हिसाब से उसकी वैल्यूएशन होती है लाइक एज वी है प्री मनी एंड पोस्ट मनी वैल्यूएशन या या रौनक यस सर हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल या या रोना या हाँ हाँ सर अगर मतलब बिजनेस स्टार्ट करना है मतलब स्टार्टअप अगर शुरू करना है सर कौन सा बेटर रहता है सर बैंक से लोन लेके करना या सर इन्वेस्टर्स को बुलाना यार बेसिकली तुम बैंक से लोन लेते हो तो वो रीपेड करना ही होता है ना लाइक किसी और उस पर इंटरेस्ट पड़ता है 
जो इन्वेस्टर्स से तुम लेते हो उसके लिए एग्रीमेंट जैसे मैंने बताया एग्रीमेंट साइन होता है तो उस एग्रीमेंट में यही सब होता है कि लाइक अगर स्टार्टअप फेल होता है लेकिन मेरे को पैसा तो वापस देना पड़ता है बट उसमें ना परसेंटेज होती है कि इतना परसेंट पैसा वापस देना सो दैट द थिंग बाकी इन्वेस्टर पर एक फायदा ये है कि अगर तूने बैंक से लिया है तो तुझे उतना इंटरेस्ट के साथ उसको देना ही है पर इन्वेस्टर ये चाहेगा कि मुझे मैक्सिमम से मैक्सिमम ये चीज प्रॉफिट मिल जाए तो वो अपनी तरफ से भी इनपुट देगा तुम्हें चेंजेस बताएगा तुम्हें बताएगा कि तुम्हें क्या करना चाहिए ताकि तुम्हारा स्टार्टअप ग्रोथ करे तो ये एक प्लस पॉइंट होता है सर मतलब सर वो लेस रिस्कियर भी होता है सर बेनिफिशियल भी होता है क्योंकि सर इन्वेस्टर्स अपना इनपुट्स डालते हैं मतलब एडिटिंग वगैरह क्या करना चाहिए आइडियाज यस 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 लाइक बैंक्स के पास मोस्टली कोई भी नहीं जाता स्टार्टअप को शुरू करने के लिए और बैंक्स में देते भी नहीं जाता ओके सर मोस्टली सर व्हाट अबाउट बूस्ट ट्रैप मतलब फंडिंग लेना ही पड़ेगा कैसा कोई मतलब है नहीं जरूरी नहीं है जरूरी नहीं मतलब कुछ तो नहीं है ना लाइक तुम्हारे लाइक जैसे तुम्हारी बस एक बेसिक एप्लीकेशन है या वेबसाइट है तो तुम्हें बस थोड़ा सा एडवर्टाइजमेंट के लिए चाहिए इतना ज्यादा उसमें नहीं लगेगा पर अगर तुम अगर सोच रहे हो कि मुझे फैक्ट्री वगैरह सेटअप करना है या पूरा वो करना है तो उसके लिए तुम्हें चाहिए इन्वेस्टमेंट तो वो भी डिपेंड करता है कि अगर तुम थोड़ा बहुत खुद से करके या फैमिली फ्रेंड से कर सकते हो तो वो तो दिक्कत ही नहीं है सर बट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप आफ्टर वी थिंक ऑफ एन आइडिया फर्स्ट स्टेप इज पहले टीम चाहिए टीम बनानी होती है लाइक बिना टीम के तो कोई भी नहीं कर सकता गौतम यू देयर यस यस आई एम देयर या गौतम पहले तो लाइक मतलब अकेला बंदा इतना कुछ हैंडल नहीं कर सकता लाइक देर इज सोशल मीडिया देर इज मार्केटिंग देर इज लाइक सो मेनी थिंग्स अब तुम कल क्या क्या कर लोगे सब फर्स्ट थिंग इज क्रिएट ए टीम देन थिंक ऑफ लाइक एक बीटा वर्जन बनाओ अपनी उस चीज का देन गो इन लिटल लिटल स्टेप्स लाइक ये नहीं कि यार मैंने आज मैं फर्स्ट ईयर में हूँ मेरे को आज ही अपनी कंपनी खोलनी है मैं ऑफिशियली रजिस्टर कर दूंगा तो मैं नहीं पता कि चार साल बाद क्या होने वाला है तो लाइक छोटे छोटे स्टेप्स में चलती है Uh, anything like anyone would like to add anything ritu abhi theek hai uh, aur koi doubt kisi ka uh, sir company uh, sir, register kahan pe hoti hai yaar ye na like officially hota hai like government ki uh, government uh, online check kar lena online mil jayega government ki sites pe hote hain to wahan pe officially register kar sakte ho to maine like koi pe ha हमारे से की बता रहे हैं अंडर सेक्शन एट सर एक एक क्या बोले सर मतलब ऐसा सेमिनार ऑर्गेनाइज ऑर्गेनाइज रियल एस्टेट इन्वेस्टमेंट का ऊपर वी कैन थिंक ऑफ इट बट लाइक श्योर नहीं हो वी कैन थिंक ऑफ इट सर जस्ट रिक्वेस्टिंग इट सर ओके थैंक ओके सर लाइक या 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 गौतम सर यू आर टेलिंग दैट वी शुड मेक अ टीम या द वर्क विल 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 बी डिसाइडेड आफ्टर द टीम फॉर्मेशन और द और पहले वर्क देना होता फिर टीम फॉर्मेशन करें दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू लाइक काम करने वाला कोई भी काम कर लेगा वेल दैट टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन यू या यू क्रिएटेड अ टीम ऑफ फोर पीपल्स यू कैन Uh, handle any one of them any work like sab ke depends upon particular, leader ha yeah. uh, yeah sab ke particular interest honge jaise agar main team bana raha hu aur tanish ko main team mein rakh raha hu to wo marketing side mein better hai to main usko wo wala part de dunga main tech mein better hu technology se related jitna bhi hai wo main rakh lunga all that सर अगर इन्वेस्टर्स इन्वेस्ट करते हैं हमारी कंपनी में तो वो स्टेक्स लेते हैं हमारी कंपनी के आपने बताया तो सर स्टेक्स में प्रॉफिट डिवाइड होता है जितने स्टेक्स उन्होंने लिए होंगे हमारी कंपनी में जो प्रॉफिट आन होगा वो स्टेक्स मतलब प्रॉफिट डिवाइड होगा फिर तो सर जैसे अगर एट्टी परसेंट नाइन्टी उसने स्टेक्स ले रखे किसी इन्वेस्टर ने तो सर प्रॉफिट तो मैक्सिम उसको जाएगा तो हम उसको लाए नहीं कर सकते कि हमारे पास 
वन लैख की जगह टू लैख अपने पास हमारे पास मतलब वो है मनी है एंड वो एट लैख इन्वेस्ट कर दे तो उस हिसाब से फिर कम स्टेक्स होंगे ना उसके पास आ, ये आ, मतलब ये पूरा गवर्नमेंट प्रोसीजर होता है तुम्हारा पूरा वो बनेगा देर से वो केस भी कर सकता है तुम्हें कि वैल्यूएशन तुम्हारी दो लाख लाख उसमें ना ये सब ना लीगल एग्रीमेंट में होता है कि लाइक मेरा इतना परसेंट स्टेक है तो इतना परसेंट प्रॉफिट मैं लूंगा ये लीगल एग्रीमेंट में सब कुछ होता है तो तुम बाद में नेगोशिएट नहीं कर सकते तुम्हें लीगल एग्रीमेंट से पहले ही नेगोशिएट करना होता है ये सब लाइक like, कोई भी तुम्हें ऐसे इन्वेस्ट करने नहीं जा रहा है तुम्हें उसे पूरा बताना पड़ेगा पिच डेक का जो सेशन होगा उसमें भी बताएंगे कि तुम्हें बताना पड़ेगा पड़ेगा पूरा कि कैसे क्या लास्ट ईयर में हुआ है तुमने कितना रेवेन्यू जनरेट करा है जितनी सारी टर्म्स हमने यूज करी है वो सब तुम्हें बतानी पड़ेगी कि आर कितना है तुम्हारा वगैरह वगैरह तो उस हिसाब से आगे होता है तो तुम अगर सोच रहे हो कि मैं गलत बता के कर लूँ तो ऐसा नहीं होगा All right, guys. Any other doubts? Otherwise, we'll be moving towards the quiz. उसमें भी time लगेगा क्योंकि we are running short of time. Sir, what is difference between okay, business patent and registration? What? एक होता है तो business patent करवाना, एक होता है registration कर करवाना. वो एक ही चीज होता है क्या? रजिस्ट्रेशन इज बेसिकली तुम अपने स्टार्टअप को रजिस्टर कर रहे हो कि गवर्नमेंट को पता है कि ऐसा कुछ स्टार्टअप है और पेटेंट इज मतलब तुम्हारा कुछ नया आइडिया है और यू वांट कि कोई दूसरा बंदा उस पर कॉपी ना करे या अगर कॉपी करे तो तुम पैसे मतलब वो ऐसे कॉपी राइट है तुम्हारा तो वो तुम्हें ऐसे कुछ फीस या कुछ कर देकर उसे यूज करे हाँ भाई और कुछ नो सर लेट्स स्टार्ट स्क्विज चैट में आई गेस डाउट्स थे मेरे को चैट में डाउट्स देख लूं मैं एक बार देख लेते हैं दस इन वेस्ट टर्म काउंटिंग ऑन इंस्टेंट वैल्यूएशन यस चिरंजीव इन्वेस्टर्स इन्वेस्टमेंट काउंट्स इन कंपनी पोस्टल वैल्यूएशन लाइक दैट्स द कैश फ्रॉम सीरीज राउंड बेसिकली and then we have no yeah is no yeah yes we have total number of shares into price of share is basically the valuation if the comp ha uh, yeah no Uh, Anish Pratap, this is you are talking about like this is known as affiliate work. Basically, you can do what you want to do in your courses. You can say what you want to do in your courses. What kind of marketing work is this? Anish, you there? So guys, like, one second, just a second. guys 